Hey everyone, all right, so I wanted to show you how the reformulated mascara works. It's still the same process of gel, fibers, gel. So there's no difference there. I just kind of wanted to sh give you a few pointers for when you're using it. So as you can see, I've already got this eye done, of course, and so now I will do this eye. Um, one thing to note, so your first tip, essentially, if you're gonna curl your eyelashes, Curl your eyelashes before you put on mascara. Doesn't matter what brand of mascara you're using, you wanna curl your eyelashes first because if you don't, there's a good chance your eyelashes, once the mascara's on them, is gonna get stuck to the curler um, that can potentially tug and pull out any of your eyelashes, which obviously isn't good, or it can just cause your eyelashes to break. So if you're going to curl your eyelashes, do that before you put on your mascara. Today I did not curl my eyelashes, I just did this. You can also put a coat of the mascara on first, let it dry, and then come back and do the gel fibers gel. It just depends on what you prefer, what kind of look. Um, I am first applying the mascara or the gel as we're gonna call it. Um, I'm just applying that to my bare lashes. I do not have a base coat on already, so totally up to you what you wanna do there. So uh, first, let's see, so new wand. There's even a new um, piece in here that helps wipe off more of the gel so that you don't have too much on there. Hey, Gina! So you don't have too much on there, so this little um, cleans it off really nice. So, and I've got a side mirror too because it's always hard to put mascara on using the camera on my phone, but um, so your second tip is don't use much. Um, this new gel, this reformulated gel, is very, very wet. And so I'm gonna pull my mirror up here. Um, so you don't need to um, you know, constantly keep applying the gel to get your eyelashes you know, wet enough for the fibers to stick to them. The gel is very wet. And that's why I really like the new um, tube that it comes in because it's got that extra piece inside that helps wipe off some of the gel so that you don't have too much. Now, if you need to use, you know, you see that your eyelashes are sticking together because, you know, the gel is very wet, now would be the time to use um, a lash comb. I used one on this side. I don't think I need to use one on this side, but the metal ones absolutely work best. So if you need one, let me know. So. Uh, like I said, we've just, we've got our gel on there. It's good. If you're going to use a, a comb to, you know, get out any clumping or anything, do that now before you apply the fibers. Okay. So fibers here. Hey, Sam. Um, very similar to before. They're on a, you know, it's a different tube with different wand and my suggestion for these is to just apply them halfway up and through the tips. Don't get too close to your waterline um, or your eyeball, whatever you want to refer to, um, because if you do, at least for me, I feel like I can feel the fibers on my eyeball and it's super annoying. It um, doesn't hurt or anything and these are still safe for contact lens wearers, but um, getting it too close to my waterline, I just, I don't know, I personally feel like I can feel them on my eyeballs and it's just uncomfortable. So, I'm just kind of tapping these on, I'm not like straight on brushing, just kind of tapping them on. Now, if you find that you want more volume, um, post, or post, pff, put more like um, down in here. If you want more length, focus more on the tips. Uh, me. I want more of both, so I kind of made sure to put it all over. Now, this would be the point now where if you wanted to take a blow dryer, you could take a blow dryer and just blow the air um, up. So you would hold the blow dryer down here on like a medium heat, blow the air up. That helps dry the lashes, helps give a little curl to your lashes, and helps blow off any fibers if you um, had any that were loose. Now what I would like to do is I'm going to take this and I'm just going to add a little to my lower lash line. Now, because um, I don't have a heavy eyeliner on today, I'm not going for a real strong eye look today, I am not going to use the fibers on the bottom. I am just using 
the gel on the bottom today. But on a day where I'm wearing a darker eyeliner or want a more dramatic look, I will wear the fibers on the bottom again just being sure to not place them too close to that lower lash line because I don't want to get um, I don't want to get them in my eye, but I also don't just like the feeling of it. So, okay. Next, swirl it around. Never pump your mascara. You always want to swirl. And then we're just going to do a real quick light coat. I'm just barely, oops, barely touching. <laughs> um, that's just going to help seal those fibers on. There we go. Okay, cool. All right. Hey, Kenny, how are you? Okay, so that is it. That is the uh, reformulated mascara. As you can see, my lashes are nice and long. Um, obviously, you can apply this much quicker in person uh, versus all the tips that I kind of gave along the way. But if you um, don't get to watch this live or you're just joining, I hope that you'll take the time to go back and see it from the beginning because I've got lots of good tips in here for you as well. So if you have any questions, be sure to let me know. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.